What? You need this button. Here, I'll make what you do it? something exciting for the film. I'm gonna zoom in. Go on, boy. Go on, get it. First day of our trip to Japan. Uh, we've been in the country for two hours. Just took a long bus ride in from the airport. The officers, the corporate headquarters. Okay. <laughs> Any time in the band history that you were thinking of maybe splitting up for, for a second? <laughs> yeah, I think it's happened, a, you know, a lot. A lot? Or just not of splitting up, but just people going, oh, yeah. you need I'm to take tired breaks. of this. Mm. I get tired of it all the time. But are there any other things that you would like to, you haven't achieved yet that you would like to? Lots of cash. Show your picture with the interview. The funny thing is we don't have a fan club, and that's why it's ironic that it's called the fan club tour. Hi, by the way, I'm Mayumi, I'm the translator. Yeah, not too dark. Not too dark. And not too crazy, okay. like strobes yeah. and stuff like that, but I mean... You don't want no scrub at all, or...? Um, not really, no. yeah. No smoke. Yeah. Yeah, no, no smoke. No smoke and no scrub. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Okay. This is our karaoke room. The, pro our our karaoke cubicle. <laughs> the problem is that there's no one for us to laugh at <laughs> besides each other, which we already we already do that. Whoa, check, 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 check. Wait. Little too dry. <laughs> Stoic attitude, you know, stubborn mm -hmm. attitude. Mm -hmm. Do you think you guys have it? Is that where we're. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I just assume that's where we're playing. Uh, uh oh. That's where Wait a minute. Play. Hey, you look like a little bit. You know, Mayumi, Mayumi told me we were playing in there. No, I didn't. She was trying to convince us that that's. <laughs> we're playing in there. <laughs> Deep brace. Are you sure? Because that looks a little small. Backstage at Axe. How's it going, Matt? Pretty good. I realize I have no idea what your uh, 
pedal system's doing. So I think I got it all set up. Oh yeah, up it's right. a little advanced. It is pretty advanced. It's one way of putting it. I did it! Number girl. Hi. 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 Hello, Josh. Josh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice How are you? Thank you for coming to Japan. Mm. Thank you for having us. Yeah. This is yeah. Number Girl. Come on, Josh. Number Girl. <laughs> number Girl. <laughs> yeah, right. Laura, how are you feeling for this first Tokyo gig? Huh? Nervous? It's just that one song. Just that one song is making you nervous. A little bit. So it's a famous place. Yeah. Have you seen it before? Hmm? Have you seen this before? Uh, is this your first time? Also? Oh, when you were little. Yesterday, uh -huh. the Radiohead yeah. was in... A uh, Radiohead went there? Because there is a really big venue. Budokan. Oh, Budokan is in here. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's where, see, we thought we were going to play at Budokan, but then we played it. We ended up at Axe somehow by, by mistake, but. Two things about the bathroom here that I love. One is that the mirror. Oh, you can't see it now because the thing's fogging up. The mirror is heated from behind so that it doesn't fog up in the one area you need. No wiping the mirror off with the washcloth, just the lens of this camera. And then this graphic on the bidet attachment. You really can't get much more straightforward than that. That's excellent. You ready to rock Nagoya, Matt? I certainly am. I'm ready to help you rock.
you know this was named after King Diamond? Really? Yeah, because he's so popular in Japan. That's great. This had better be the right floor. Mm -hmm. Pressure's on. <laughs> yes, Diamond Hall. Look how fucking small these are! It's a fucking joke. I hate it when the hot towels that you get after sound check just aren't big enough, you know? Is he okay? this beautiful art of my sushi ko uncle. Get charged up for a good show, fellows. I have already. Any condolences, any words are not enough for the deep loss you had back in the States. Let's just say it is so fortunate that we are here today that we can celebrate all the things, everything in our each life. Peace and harmony. Wish you luck for the whole tour. Have a good time here in Nagoya and in Osaka. Bye. A, a Kiko. You get really kind of close with people for a short period of time. And then yeah. You know, Can you capture the magnitude of the feast? That's right. Get a picture of Jim eating raw shrimp. You're gonna, you're gonna run out of batteries. <laughs> before you eat raw shrimp. Raw is good, Jim. You didn't eat one. Yes, I did. Come on, eat it. Someone. Yes, what spot? You ate one of those. Look. Jim, eat that. Oh. Eat that only. Fuck that shit, no way. Eat it! I'm You're, not afraid, I just don't- You are afraid. I am I'm not afraid, I just don't think I- I, mean, I think I wouldn't be able to swallow it. Sounds oh, Thank you for having us. Okay. Hey Matt, grab that guitar, would you? It's our last real day here in Japan. Our show tonight in Osaka is the last one. It's a rock and roll town. It is, huh? It likes it to is. be rocked. We enjoy parts of touring. You know, the part where you're playing on stage and the part where we're hanging out with Andy. You know, <laughs> that's fun. Okay. But then there's all the other parts in between that are, you know, yeah. that are, that are not so fun. We're playing right there. That gray, Wait, that gray landing up there. We're playing at the top. Check out the gondola. Uh, in the middle. We're playing in the middle yeah, of see. the Ferris wheel. Yeah, don't buy that. It's happening. It's called the Bayside Jenny Ferris Wheel Club. Now get this. Any video or camera shooting is not permitted. In case you get caught shooting, you must leave no matter what reasons you may have. Oh. You know? Yes. What did you do? Uh -huh. What did you do? Uh, shopping? Shopping, yeah. Videotaping? Yeah. Um, eating some octopus balls?
Sorry. Come on, Andy. Come on. <laughs> Where is John? Jim, Jim. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks, so much. Thanks for playing. Thanks for letting us play with you. Um, are we going? So, are we going? Yeah, well, I think you are going. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank the rest of Number Girl. Uh, thank your band also, the rest of the band. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you guys. There's Andy. He's still drunk from last night's dinner. <laughs> My Amy slept for one hour. She's still drunk from last night, too, I think. <laughs> you stand right there. Bye bye. Yeah. No words. <laughs> Yeah, let it in four ish sound check. Four thirty to six thirty. Doors at seven thirty. So tomorrow you could do an interview between six thirty and seven thirty. That's not counting eating. We're at King Tut's in Glasgow. And I'm about to let you in on a glimpse of just how bad the food can get. And it only gets this bad at the club. What are you reading, Jim? I will have this big um, armorial picture. Read that to the camera. It's a penis party. <laughs> This is Rock City? This is Rock City, the city of rock. <laughs> That's what they call Nottingham, isn't it? Um, occasionally. This is Adrian. That's it. How cheery. Is this Phil? 
Okay, are you a show trans by chance? Okay, well we've got one of your vans in Nottingham. It's broken down. I mean, I, you don't have another van that I can perhaps use. They don't have anything that can tow something this long and this heavy. This isn't necessarily a bad thing because it gives us more ammunition towards like, we're abandoning your shitty truck right yeah. now. You know? Jumping in. totally into it. It was a novel experience. You got to stay in a little it, The hat. thing is, it wasn't novel for the people that go there. I guarantee you we'll never play in another club like that. Why? Because we'll never play Europe again? Whereas most of our, most of the clubs we play at are, are infinitely repeated night after night in interchangeable boxes. Take your second break. Slow down right here. If you can take a right up at that light, uh, do it. Because I'm just going to take a right and a right or whatever to get back to where we just turned and go the other way. That's this, non this is Okay, this is the street that the club's on. Whatever, we'll just make another U-turn. Need be. What's going on here? Oh, I don't know. Fuck. I guess I'm going. I, I'm in. I'm sold on maps, though. You know, we may we may be having trouble getting where we're going, but at but least we, we know, know where, where we're, we're trying going. to go. Are you filming me? Yes, I'm filming you. Film yourself. So if you suggested super chunk for the on section, yeah, that would just be like <laughs> <laughs> laugh. They would laugh at me. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'd go, oh yeah, well they've been around too long. Well. Right. Yeah, but you've never written about them before. And if they, and, and the thing is, if they had written about a certain band, you know, it'd be ten years ago, and it's right. like, well, most of the people who read the enemy probably weren't even born then. But then they're kind of like, well, they got young. Yeah. But anyway, uh -huh. anyway. Uh, look at you, man. You're 
already 40, and you're sitting back here, crummy backstage in Leeds, England. What are you doing? I've got it all together. Every woman I had any emotional attachment to has decided that it was uh, not in their best interest. <laughs> yeah, I like to carry on with it. Yeah. Um, losing my hair. I'm in a dead end. You know what? <laughs> I accepted it. How many cigarettes does that for you today? Three. That's it? Yeah. But I'm just getting warmed up. Really? I'll tell you what, I could play the drums. It, as good, if not better. Okay. okay. Tonight, if you, you play my guitar parts. I couldn't do it. I knew. Laura, wave goodbye to the van. So we're here with Matt and Jim from Super Chunk. Uh, we're going to take in a session track in your own time now, and then we're going to come back a bit and, and talk about the new record. Excellent, and lovely. It is, it is Mac, by the way. That's alright. You only said it a couple times. I did, I can cut it in. Oh no, I should Much really cool be getting the bloody name right. But I'm, I am famous for getting people's names wrong. Now that you've had a look around my dressing room, oh no, that's maybe, mine. maybe, maybe we should go find yours. No, See, look, the star. I'm Russ. Yeah, that's my Irish nickname. Now we're going to Dublin today, and then going home after that. Not the stiffs. Yeah. North Carolina. and weeks of touring ahead of you. So, so how, does it, how does it feel to you? We're over the hump, <laughs> which is overseas. The hump meaning Europe. Yeah, yeah it's like the Battle yeah. of the Bulge yeah. over here. Yeah. 
Andy Hayden, everybody. About what you expected? Out. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, actually a little worse. There were things that I... I know I didn't play right. I thought it sounded good though. Going swimming in the famous indoor guitar shaped pool. Absolutely. I was hoping we'd stay at this hotel because I've heard a lot about that. <laughs> to pull the van around to the uh, other side of the building okay. and load in. Hey, there's that kid that promoted the show tonight. Hey, where are our poppers yeah, backstage? Yeah, hey, Roger. Yeah, I mean, we show up here. You guys to do this gig. You get the petition and everything with all your yeah. friends. And no, I read it. the writer. It, when it said poppers, I, I, I know you guys were... Um, I'm not from L.A. Poppers, or anything. Yeah, I, Did Danny you talk to Danny? Yeah, I talked I'll to Danny talk to him. Okay, because that's a major fuck-up. I will talk to him. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm... First of all, there was a misunderstanding. I thought you wanted homemade poppers, you know, and uh, I have a secret recipe. Here's the thing, I don't go to rice sort of at all. Mixer or something. I don't go to rice, I don't attend rice. And it's a long story, but my dad is a dentist, 
and he's not from here either. He died a couple years ago, and he had seven dreams, and he wrote the seven dreams down and put them in a bottle and sent them out. Oh my God, this is going to make no sense to you guys. Well, but now I feel like I'm on the spot. It's got some heavy shit to lay on us. Is it right if I smoke? I don't smoke. Well, I, I don't know. It's your, you go here, but apparently you don't even go here. Hey, okay, wait a second. Let me turn the tables on you guys. on a trailways bus to El Paso, but I never got the word. But I had to put them on hold, so now, unfortunately, you're paying double golden overtime. But we're, so we're still paying for that even A three-day rate. Anything. You're paying them a three-day rate apiece, right. plus a half-day travel day on each day, on each end of it, for uh, six uh, guys. My crew was on, on standby, waiting for the call. I had Norwood Cheek, Grady Cooper, Phil Morrison. I had two cameramen. And, and two sound guys and one backup utility guy. Did you just say two cameramen? Yeah. Well, I had to put them on official hold. You can't cancel a hold after 24 hours, and the hold becomes standby, and that's when they go into double golden overtime. Is there a semi-official hold? <laughs> double golden double overtime. Double golden overtime? That's how, I don't know if we can afford that. No, and that was my whole point. We waited for the call, and it's going to cost you double what it would have cost you because they went into double golden overtime because they were on standby rate. Yeah, this is going on sale. Okay, uh, Super Chunk Knitting Factory, Hollywood, November. What's the date today, Carl? Six? 
Thank you. Um, this is uh, Worcester going on stage. Okay? Ready? Here we go. And action. Were you going slow there? Well, it's it's slow motion. Now see, you don't have to go slow. The camera will will slow you down later. You just go for the camera. Stage is that way. Okay. You're you're psyched about the show. You're playing LA. It's the Knitting Factory and action. All right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go, go back. What? Half that speed. What are we saying? You know, nothing. I think just give me that look of determination. Like we're gonna play the fucking best show we've ever played. Can't we're say not. anything. No, but that's, just think that you are. Okay? Just don't think about it. Here we go. Come on, actually, give me, come around the corner. Okay. That's going to get you guys psyched about it. Here we go. And action. <laughs> I dropped my sticks. I dropped my sticks. All right, cut it. Around the corner, I can still see it. I see, I see your wristband. Here we go. You're ready to play the show and action. Cut it, because I don't think you'd be, you don't smile like that. <laughs> you know the basic idea, right? I think I do. You're walking to the stage. Just, just do how you do it every show. Hold on. Start out. Okay, I'll, I'll cue you. Ready? Yeah. And action. <laughs> Alright, I can use some of that. And action, Mac. Just give me that, like, the rock thing. Okay. You are, you're really yeah, psyched to do it. Oh, I hurt my ankle. Oh. You all right? No. All right, you I mean, I'm really not okay. I'm just kidding, I'm okay. Come on and action. I'm too nervous now. No, you're good. Thanks. That's good. All the way around the corner. I'm not playing. What? Dude, you've got to play. I'm too nervous. I'm not playing. You have to play. I'm not playing. There's a crowd out there. It's L.A. I think it's the point in the tour where everybody's kind of been around each other too long and everyone's getting a little bit testy in sound checks or during the drive, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, everyone's also dealing at the same time. Tour's almost over, which is great because I want to go home, but it's it's also kind of a bummer because Annie's working out great. She's handled everything that we've thrown at her and we've been adding one or two songs a night to the set list. It's fun to do old songs with an extra person, it sounds good. But we're we're just running out of time. Probably not gonna get to do everything that we want to do. So that's too bad. Four weeks is a pretty short tour actually. I mean after doing Europe and Japan it doesn't seem that short because I feel like we've been on tour for a couple months already. I believe I'm here. <laughs> Becky? Oh, you A12. <laughs> Where are you gonna write the set list tonight?
What if the guy who's out there doesn't like us? Uh, we could give him his money back. It's not that much of a refund, right? Oh, wait. I think it, I think it was free. Oh, but he goes to school, so you'd have to refund, <laughs> refund him an entire year's tuition. Jeez. Because it's paid for by his student fees. Shit. Just means you have to play extra well. I can't, though. It wasn't the right kind of tea, so I can't play well. It's hard to say these days. It's hard to say what is going to do well where, which is sort of the story we're hearing from everybody who's on tour. There's not as many people going out. It's just not what people are thinking about right now, but we still had some good shows. So we could have slept for another hour or so, uh, but instead we're spending it at the Happy Chef. Jim, it's right there on the left. See it? I promise you, next time you're here, we'll get a star on the I mean, who are the Maroons? the Maroons. It's one thing for Ace Fraley to have a star, but when was this paint job done? The was done about a year ago. And then... Just been adding? Well, yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, yeah. Up, 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 up. Got up. it. There you go. We exist. Do you have anything special lined up for the last night of the tour? Uh, no, I haven't really thought of anything. It's really? No, oh, that's not too cool. <laughs> Just the same old show, huh? Same old show. Tim might take his clothes off. Well, no, there's a concept. He, I've seen him actually, I've seen him play his guitar with his penis. He's totally off beat. <laughs> Mac didn't know the fucking words. Fucking Annie words. was out of tune. Jim acted like he was 12. And Laura had the volume turned all the way down Fine. because no one likes to hear Laura. <laughs> That's how it was. So what was I doing? Hey, Becky. Selling fucking seven Becky. inches. Three dollars at a time. I hope you made your money. Hey, hope, Becky. I hope Becky. the Love you. fucking nine dollars is worth it. Becky. Have yeah. your Thai food too. Becky. <laughs> Becky. I hope it's serious, good. Serious question. Annie said the pad Thai was a little spicy. Serious question. Yeah, it's in the other fucking van, in the cargo. Oh shit, how are we gonna Did put it you over your mouth then? <laughs> Since we left Seattle, basically we had two solid days of driving. Jim doing most of the driving. One day at 10 hours, next day 14 hours, and then six hours yesterday to get to Cornell. Tomorrow Chicago, then Detroit, then Toronto, then a day off, then Montreal, so we got a few shows in a row.
Detroit street musicians. I like this old time music. Guy interviewed us for this fanzine in the journal and presented us with this uh, Super card. Ah, right, right, I like that. And yeah, the uh, likeness is pretty good. Yeah, there's John. Either he has his, he's given two thumbs up or he has very short sticks and he's playing all kettle drums. <laughs> free tonight. Back. <laughs> Do 
Good evening, Washington, D.C. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we are Aerogram from uh, Glasgow, Scotland. <laughs> Last show of the tour and they finally decorated our goddamn dressing room. <laughs> Did you decorate our dressing room?